this has to stop. When people say they don't want to work with the United States because they can't trust us to keep a secret, that's serious. To put lives in danger and it infringes upon the ability of the intelligence community to do their job. Over the past few months, there's been a disturbing stream of articles in the media and common among them is that they cite leaked, classified, or highly sensitive information. One could draw the conclusion from reading these articles that it is an attempt to further the president's political ambitions for the sake of his re-election. But this comes after explosive accusations that the White House leaked classified information to stop Israel from attacking Iran. Officials are accused of telling Hollywood filmmakers too much about the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. Today, at my direction, the United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. Secret operational details of the Bin Laden raid were given to reporters. Lives of American servicemen and women are at stake. But astonishingly, the administration failed to change its ways. More top secret operations were leaked, even some involving covert action going on in Iran. Th this isn't a partisan issue. It's a national security crisis. This conduct is contemptible. It betrays our national interest. It compromises our men and women in the field. And it demands a full and prompt investigation by a special counsel with explanation and consequence. Obama appointees who are accountable to President Obama's attorney general should not be responsible for investigating the leaks coming from the Obama White House. Whoever provided classified information to the media seeking political advantage for the administration must be exposed, dismissed, and punished. <laughs>